What's up guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about my three favorite things I did to my boat shop right here behind me when I built it three years ago. Uh, I think these three things I would say are the most important things I did. So if you guys are looking to build a shop one day down the road, I would highly recommend uh, these things. And I'm gonna give you a little look here. I used to keep my boat right in here. This is a 40 foot long uh, bay at our house. So that was our main garage door. Used to keep the boat over there when we built it. That worked great. But obviously, as our family grew, I've got two little boys now. And we've been married for 12 years, going on 13 years. Or 10, I don't even know. Hopefully my wife doesn't watch this video. We got married in 2012. I know that. So 11 years coming up uh, here this fall. But our family has grown. I've kind of got pushed out of that space. Thankfully, worked out in my favor. And I went ahead and built this shop. Uh, like I said, three and a half years ago. Uh, so this is a 20 by 40 foot long, 20 foot wide by 40 foot long. In order, I'm not gonna say these are particular order uh, of one through three, but I'm gonna start out here as number one, uh, and that's the garage door, guys. This is a 16 foot wide garage door with nine foot tall uh, clearance. And the thing that's so nice about that is when I come home, and I back my boat into the shop, uh, I never have to worry about putting the power poles down. So it wouldn't even matter if I had 10 foot blades. I don't have 10 footers, I have eight, but even the tens would fit in here without having to put them down, no problem. And then the width too, you know, this is 16 feet. So I don't have to be perfect when I back it in. I can just kind of get it in there right. And then I have a little bit of room to work with to, to get it in there perfect if I want. Uh, but that 16 foot wide gives me a lot of clearance on each side. So definitely highly recommend nine foot tall and uh, 16 foot wide. When you're looking here, something to consider, I had these gutters put in because I didn't want rain just falling down in this area. We already don't get a ton of sun in this area between the house or between the two garages. You can see a little bit of moss or whatever growing down there right now. But these gutters definitely help because all that water that falls here actually tied this gutter in with these gutters and it all drains out to the ditch by the road. And I don't know why I haven't painted that yet. And that one's kind of ugly too. I don't think it should be, I think that should be tan with the house. I should paint that tan, but I haven't. So don't judge me, it's been three years. But walking in guys, uh, this is what it looks like in here. A lot of you have probably seen it before in here. It's just kind of a quick view, uh, but more on the garage door real quick. Still, so we're still on number one. This is a LiftMaster uh, garage door opener and it's all on the side over here which I really like because when I'm rigging rods of course I have my fans up there I'm going to talk about those next but when I'm rigging rods I don't have a chain motor that's in the way above my head and that is really really nice guys so 8500W uh, is the model of that thing and it does a great job super quiet really nice garage door opener so number two again guys no particular order, but it has to be the fans that I put up in here. I can bring my boat back home soaking wet, carpet, everything soaking wet, lift the rod boxes up, you know, I'll just come over here, lift the boxes up, get them all lifted up, and I can turn these fans on right over here with the flip of a switch, and those guys are gonna run. I can let them run all night, all day, uh, but if I bring my boat in here at night and do that, I can come back the next morning, turn those fans off, and my boat is going to be a lot more dry than it was uh, to begin with. So those fans I got from a company, I think they're out of Atlanta, Georgia. It's called Global Industries, and I paid about $120 a piece when I bought those new three years ago now, three and a half years ago. So well worth it guys, highly recommend installing some fans above your boat like this. Um, and you know, I could I could have run an extension cord down from up there. Um, I didn't do it, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Like I've just always had it on the sides, plugged into the wall over there and it hasn't been a problem. I don't trip over the cord or anything, but I have seen it up there. That might be something I do the next time I build a shop. So third thing, this is a heated and cooled shop, by the way. This is a uh, mini split, 
Hess Air is the brand, just kind of a cheaper brand, but it's done a great job. It is in the upper 90s here in Alabama. I have it set at 72 degrees and it's holding no problem in here. But this is uh, heated and cooled with spray foam. We have open cell spray foam in here behind number three. And that is the slat wall. You guys can see this everywhere around the shop. The whole shop, top to bottom, is slat wall. And what we did was spray foam against the exterior. So instead of coming in and putting sheetrock up and then slat wall, we just did slat wall straight to the studs. So honestly, I feel like that was the best way to do it. Uh, you can see like screws right there. There's gonna be the studs going up. That's where it's attached. But I felt like that was the best way to do it. it made the most sense money-wise. I didn't have to spend all the money sheetrocking in here uh since i wasn't going to use that anyways and so highly recommend using the slat wall becoming four by eight foot boards and everything is super usable guys so when i walk over here compared to pegboard right like if i want to start adjusting things or changing things i can just take the pegs move them slide them it's so easy uh, to organize and it's almost like your options are endless of what you can do with it So just to show you more example, this is kind of a mess over here right now This is some stuff that's going on my new boat. So I've got a little bit of a pile in here I have not put some rods away. I will do that uh, And a spare prop, but I can hang props on the wall these little 90 degree slat wall hooks like this guy right down here that I have um, This extension cord hanging on that thing can hold a ton of weight and it holds my extension cords just like that. And then the other thing I did is I looked around on eBay and found these clothes racks. So basically these are, you know, retail clothes racks that people are gonna hang up, uh, you know, a clothes hanger on with retail clothes. And they do an awesome job at being able to organize your rods. So I'll do it like by seven foot, seven threes, seven sixes, whatever, you can mix and match however you want. But that has been a great way for me to get my rods, not like this, off the ground uh, when I want to put them up on the wall and get everything off the ground. So highly recommend the slat wall, guys. In fact, if I was going to put everything in order, I would say slat wall number one, garage door number two, and the fans number three. That's what I would say personally. But anyway, hopefully uh, some of these tips will help you. I'm sure there's some stuff I missed. So if you guys have some comments. I mean, I know some things in my head and maybe we'll do another video about that, about some things I would have done different, but these three for sure, I would 100% do again and uh, no questions about that at all. So, but if you guys have some comments or ideas, uh, leave them in the question, in the comments below, because I'd like to hear, you know, a lot of times I think I have good ideas, but I don't have the best ones all the time. So would love to hear what you guys think. Would love to read the comments about it. And uh, I know one thing for sure, a drain. I would love to have a drain. I don't have a drain. Sometimes that really hurts my feelings. When I bring a wet boat home and I get wetness all around down here, the fans and the AC, they do a good job at, you know, keeping the moisture levels down and all that, keeping humidity down. But when you just have water puddled up on the floor, man, I wish I had a drain. So, but anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, like I said, leave a comment below and hopefully some of this will help you if you ever build a boat shop like this. Uh, it is nice to have, man. I'm very thankful for it. And I always tell my wife, I feel like I get more checks ever since I had my own place. So uh, anyways, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks again. See you.